to the whole video. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing if you do. And then okay, notification bell. It's early in the morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. What's, what time is it? 10. Which is, after the night we had, is early in the morning. Uh, and anyway, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Then make sure you check out the guys at Nerd Sense, which I've said at least 100 times at this point. At least. At, at least. least. But uh, I'll put a link to their uh, website in the description box below. Uh, Sean and Mike, if this is your first time seeing them. Um, I feel like I'm doing a lot of the talking. Do you well, want to say anything before we talk about the beer? Or? I'm excited. But I think, well, actually, no, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll say this. A year or two ago, Kyle said to us, the next time we get together, we're doing this beer. And then COVID hit. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our first time together in person since then. And, uh, yeah. It's all yeah. I'm just I'm super stoked. It, it, it couldn't be better because like we end up uh, we're at Beer Tuber Palooza, we're sharing an Airbnb. Uh, the guys from FLX and Joe from the Beer Patrol are downstairs at the Airbnb, and we're about to hang out any. with yeah with uh, <laughs> with Matt and Keith, uh, Matt from Massive and Keith from Ninety Three Lumber, and uh, some other people that don't do beer channel anyway. Uh, some viewers uh, as well. But anyway, just like it's such a cool weekend, so like it's just like layering awesome yeah. on top of awesome. But yeah, the fact that we're in person together finally, and then there's not just us in person together finally. It's just it's awesome. It's everyone. So this is Bourbon County Rare, uh, 2015, and it comes in a wooden box. You know, it's going to be special and taste better. Um, it's uh, been aged. Look at that. In right? the box. In the, in the box. That is awesome. Box. How does it stay like that? There was a little sticky thing oh, okay. in the back. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, but I, I took it out to just make it streamline a little bit. Yeah, it's it's pretty oh, rad. Wow. That is awesome. I've never actually seen one of these. In, I think I've seen one in person. Yeah. I never looked at it. Um. Stout aged in bourbon barrels, uh, aged for two years in 35-year-old Heaven Hill barrels. 14.8% um, ABV, and specifically it's from uh, September 21st, 2015. So that must have been a 2014, the regular release, because it would have brewed in 2013, aged this right. one for two years. Um, I thought about bringing one of those to compare it. But I just felt like we're gonna be drinking so much oh, beer yeah, I think today. That's a valid... So, um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm super stoked. So, hmm. if this was a 2014, so the 2014, 15, 2015. No, 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 this is a 2015. But if it was 2014 base, that was when they were still in the coal houses, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. and, and that's one of the reasons I, I did almost bring it because it's, like, it's a smaller yeah. format. Or whatever. And I'll let you guys pour first. Just that is sticky, so be careful. Okay. Pour a little because we, we 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 really are sharing. Yeah, that. yeah, we're we're doing the review just us, what? but we are gonna share it with <laughs> with some other people. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'll pour a little bit more after. But uh, so I have had this beer. I forget if I reviewed it or not, but I have had it before. I love that. It's one of my favorite things watching these guys' reviews is them making sure they got the exact same amount of beer in their glasses. But, 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 but Mike has. <laughs> I was waiting for Mike to see that that I had less, and he's poured more in his. <laughs> <laughs> And there's plenty in the bottle. We can have a little bit more if we want. Yeah. Um, not much head. No. I, no. If, no, no. Really. no. What was the I definitely uh, poured it very gentle as 14. well. 14.6? I didn't pour aggressively, to yeah. be fair, yeah. So, you know, yeah, given the ABV, you know, the time in the bottle, I'm not, I guess, super surprised. There's not a lot of head. But, man, that lacing, yeah. or the legs, I mean. Yeah. Holy crap. I hope the camera's at pick up it, because that, that is... Oh, wow. I, don't, I don't know if it is, because it's like... Next level lacing. It, it's really. It just looks like ethanol sliding down the side of the glass. It does. <laughs> it really does. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, okay, it's it's black, but there is brown in there. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's dark. It's like a sepia brown, very yeah. dark. Wow, brown. that is yes, yeah. yes. All right, let's continue aroma, guys. That's fudgy booze. Oh yeah, my god, very much fudgy booze. Yeah, I mean, like, like hanging out at. The, the beach at the fudge shop. Like, <laughs> it's this really like, rich, creamy, fudgy chocolate. If this is how you're starting your descriptors for the day, I can't imagine oh how God. they're going to get it's this gonna afternoon. So good. Yeah, it's going to be so good. <laughs> it's going to be on fire. And you, you do get... I, I love when beers like this can kick out chocolate in more than one way. Like, maybe you get, like, dark, but also some milk, whatever. You get, you get specifically mm -hmm. chocolate fudge. Then it get, like, specifically dark chocolate yep. bar as well. Like, it, it, it's, it's super chocolatey, I guess, is, is Yeah, you get, like, like, that, like, sort of, like, that 90% cacao yeah. kind of, that really rich one. Yeah, yeah it's, it smells This is, like, raisin awesome. like, oh. raisin, chocolate Big raisins. Big time raisins. 
But you know what the th- thing is? Like, you know when you, you say, like, oh, this is this is bourbon barrel age? Like, oh, yeah, I get the booze. You're getting bourbon. Yeah. Like, you're getting, like, so, like that, that awesome, rich, like, that woody, like, that incredible Heaven, it was Heaven Hill, right? Heaven yeah. Hill, yeah. Yeah, like, you're getting, you can smell like you have a little bit of bourbon in it. Yeah. Not just booze. Yeah. Well, and I didn't want to bring it up again because, I, you know, I know it's not blind or anything, but it was in barrels for two years yeah. versus the regular. So, like... Do you think you're getting more of the barrel and the booze specifically than the regular? Yeah, but I, I also think that that 35 year age is just giving more character, more mm. dimension. Yeah, you that's know? a good point. Because it, because it's it it almost smells like you're smelling a glass of whiskey with a little bit of chocolate around yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's actually a really good pull. Like if you took some, like yeah. this is gonna sound weird, but if you took the glass of whiskey and just put some Hershey's syrup in it, yeah, <laughs> no, for real, yeah, yeah, and, swirl it around. and they do. I mean, you can get cocktails and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. those are definitely flavors that go well together, and it, it makes sense. Should we get into the glass? Yes. Yeah. Kyle, thank All right, you so cheers. much. Cheers. No, hey, us in person. Heck yeah. Now this is gonna sound like. Um, like I'm comparing in a way that makes it seem not special, but I don't mean it. This reminds me more of like almost like Black Tuesday. Yeah, it's got that. Like, like even just the mouthfeel. Yep. You know what I mean? And, it, and the booze is a lot harder hitting. Which is funny because it's it's not that it's like the exact yeah. same booze roughly that you get in the regular Bourbon County, right. but it hits you more. Yeah, and that, that's sure. probably the two years that gives it's, you that it's, more. It's 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 the whiskey. Yeah. Or the the bourbon. Yeah, I mean it's. I, I get more oak too. Again, I like this isn't. I don't think a surprising thing, but I definitely get more oak tannins yep, as that, well. That dry, yeah, yep. oh yeah. Now I do think when I had this before, so it was fresher than this. Obviously, I think I got even more of the wood. Actually, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah. So I kind of like that. I'm still getting the chocolate and the things we got in the aroma, um, but then I, I, I still think over the regular, I'm getting more. Oak specifically. I feel like over the regular, you're getting a lot more raisin, prune, mm. um, a, a, more like more dimensions in that sort of dark fruit. Where I, I felt like the nose was say more chocolate, and there, but the, there was fruit. I feel like on the palate, it's actually more fruit, but there is still chocolate and stuff. You know what I mean? It's like there, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of cherry, some of like the dark berry fruits, like like definitely. I don't know if this doesn't have everything a big stout can have, mm-hmm. but it has a lot of the things. Like I'm not getting yeah. coconut as an example. Right. But like like the berry, the chocolate notes, the oak obviously, the whiskey specifically. A little bit of vanilla. A little bit of vanilla, yeah. For Chess, sure. Yeah. Like I think as I was sitting here and just like letting it like just kind of sit there on my palate, like as it like dried up, the the fruitiness is the is, is a really big one. The booze is a really big one because that kind of hits you, but it's just like well balanced at least to to the point of mm. for it being six years old six years old right so I agree and I also think and honestly even to almost piggyback on that is is that like when you drink this it it, it even as you sip it it feels and tastes special mm. so you take small sips and yeah. you really do let it coat your tongue and it does give you all those things yeah that Sean brought up and it's interesting because it is a little syrupy but it's not overly viscous. Nope. Like, it, it, yeah. So like it does coat the, the tongue and everything nicely, but it's not like overtaxing either, yeah. which is good. It's not, it, it has a sweet, but it's not cloyingly sweet. So again, it's that word balance, I think could be used, which is cool. Um, because this beer could also be very not balanced. It could be yeah. way too woody or way too whiskey right. for it after that much barrel aging or whatever. It, it, it is like explosively flavored. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. it is big. It yeah. Accepts it, and it really does, it, it does sort of like heighten everything. Your whole, yeah. your whole, all yeah. your, your tongue is just like, boom. Yeah. And we're also drinking this at like 70 degrees. So, yeah. like, it's, it's like, there's nothing being hidden no, by, no, no. by coolness. Like, and there's also cool. this, not, in this sense, not like a tart character, but like the fruit's given it this little bit of acidity. That yeah. No, yeah. You're, no, you're right. 100%. Really? That, and I think that's like the cherry the thing. The cherry thing. Yeah. I'm just going to eat. Yeah. That's literally what I was going to say. It's 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 magnificent. Yeah, the, and the, and I, I mean I'm serious, but you take sips, it, it feels like something special, something you yeah. you savor, you yeah. sit on for a while, that you share. Yeah, and we I mean we all like the regular one, okay. but like it is interesting how this is different, and and I think the regular one, even though it's like 
it's that well, lack of scarcity anymore. So he doesn't feel as special ever. Like I get like this was in a box. This has been aged. This has been two years. Like, but like to drink it, it is a different experience yeah. for sure. And, and I get the savoring it and the small sip mindset. Yeah, it, it does. It drinks special regardless of the packaging and the, yeah. the perceived hype. No hype beer reviews. <laughs> um, any closing thoughts before we go share this with the other guys? It's delicious. If you guys can it's still delicious. get it, it's 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 still drinking great. I would say if 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 it's still available to you and not like you know too crazy crazy secondary crazy. prices, grab it. It's a special. Drink. I forget what I got this for, but I remember I saw it and I was like, that's actually really inexpensive for what secondary oh, actually, is. Oh, oh, you bought it on secondary. Yeah, market. yeah, and um, yeah, I forget again. I forget what it was, but it was pretty like low enough that I was like, when I get it, I wonder if it's gonna be the real thing because <laughs> I was like. Okay, that's not what that goes for. But anyway, yeah, so like it wasn't too crazy when I got it, which was nice. But anyway, we want to share it with the other guys. I think one of them's coming, so we got to wrap this up. Check out Nerd Sense, Mike and Sean. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And um, heck yeah. Sorry. And um, <laughs> sorry if anyone's watching with their kids and they don't like that word. My apologies. I haven't finished my coffee yet. Yeah, because okay. someone's watching with their kids at 14.6%. They, you know what? You'd be surprised. I have 93 a lot of, lumber. He is made he behind it. us. Yeah. yeah. And Keith. Uh, but yeah, check out NerdSense. Um, when, once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and on Tap. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, in vibe. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. All right, let's share this. You guys want a little bit more before I go downstairs? I'll have a touch. I'm actually actually really good. It's gonna be okay. like a kiss. Yeah, because there is really good. more than half left, so we have plenty to share. With yeah, I don't know why I didn't use the watch. Man.